You're wondering why I'm doing that. It's because that's anger coming out of me, pouring out of me. Pouring out of you? I don't see nothing pouring out of you. What are you, a fucking Aunt Jemima? No, I don't pour out delicious syrup that is disgusting because it fucking kills you, but it's so good. But I just want some Anjama. Okay, that's not what the video is about. But the, the thing is, I'm holding myself back. That's why I'm getting so fucking angry. Like realizing that you hold yourself back. Everyone realizes this, but I realize it even more than regular. Everybody has it in the back of their head like this. It's right there. Look, can you see it in the back of my head or what? Right here, it says holding myself back. It's in there. There's a lot of things in back of my head, like me um, kissing my dad when I finally turned 18 years old or whatever the hell. And I was like, and he was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, I'm 18 now, dad. And he's like, like I've been waiting as well. I just pretended like I didn't want to kiss you. And then we kissed. But anyways, um, besides that, realizing that you're hold how much you're holding yourself back is the most annoying thing in the world. I'm going to give you, I oh, I know I hold myself back. I, that's one of my biggest things that I hate about myself. And it has to do with feeling like garbage. Feeling like doo-doo and pee-pee and moo-poo. You don't know what the fuck is moo-poo because it's just, a cow, it's just cow shit. You just call it moo-poo. It's the same thing. Anyways, you're dumb. I'm smart. Anyways, um, so basically holding yourself back. Here's the number one thing I realized this even more. I've always known that about myself. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, recently, here's one. Here's a, here's the best example of it that almost made me cry, literally. I was watching a video of a band called Daughters, and I love them. They're the best. The Daughters, 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 Daughters. Uh, look them up. Daughters, not Daughter. That band is Kaka. Daughters. They're really fucking good. Um, you won't get what you want is, is their newest album. Anyways, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Um, I wish I was. Can I get some money? So basically, I was watching them perform. And I was just watching the guitarist play. And I was watching everybody play. And I was just like, wow, this is so awesome. But I noticed something. The guitarist was playing and he had like pedals and stuff like that. And while I was watching it, watching them perform, I almost wanted to cry. I was like, why am I feeling so bad? Basically, what I did was I looked at them. And one thing I've done in my whole life is I've actually played guitar a lot. I've learned to play very well. I want the proof? There you go. There's your proof that I have. You're like, show me. You don't believe you don't play guitar. You just heard that, you piece of shit. That's, that's how you prove that. I, okay. Anyways, um, so i played i practiced my ass off i don't know how many years like 11 12 years playing guitar i'm pretty damn dude i could do a lot of damn genres i could do a lot of things with it but the one thing that i've held back is learning how to use pedals but the funny part is i know how to use them it's not like i don't but there's a stupid thing inside of me where i'm like afraid it's like if i'm afraid of Thinking in my head, like, am I gonna, and I'm, am I gonna be able to use them properly and stuff like that? So that'll just be my excuse for me to not buy them and then put them together. It's almost like it's not. The funny part is that I'm not lazy at all. I work out. I go for a while. I do all this stuff, but it's so hard to push myself to the next level. Sometimes I'm like, let me just stay in this level. And for a long time on guitar, I would even tell myself, I'm good on guitar. Let me keep it nice and raw. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of bands out there that don't even use much effects and stuff like that but it's just a stupid mentality of holding myself back thinking like if it's a scary thing like will i be able to learn it i know i could fucking learn it i think about that every single thing like even if i'm gonna perform live with my band whatever i think to myself oh shit i'm so fucking scared but i still push myself out there on stage so that's what it is even before I started streaming on Twitch or whatever, when I started streaming on Twitch and YouTube, do you even know how scared I was? I was like, oh my God, I got to download OBS. I got to learn how to make uh, fucking emotes. I got to do all these fucking things that I have to do with streaming before I stream. And in my head, I was so scared. I'm like, I ain't going to be able to do all this. It's a stupid negative way of thinking and it's holding myself back. But I pushed myself through all and guess what? I know how to do it all. It's so simple. Check this out. You're going to be amazed. Right? When, 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 watch this. Look at that. Wow. I learned how to do that. 
<laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? And I know what you thought when you just saw. Yes, I was literally my face was on Beetlejuice's cock because I love him. He's an amazing person. But the point is, holding yourself back is the dumbest thing in the world. You know what the capabilities of? I believe, even when I try to push myself to do things, I still I, I, I'm gonna be honest with myself. The capabilities that I have. I probably only use hmm, the capabilities. I'm going to say mm, like 25%, 25, 30, 25 to 40% maybe. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say 30% I use of what my actual capabilities are. And I know a lot of you out there is that that's actually pretty good. There's some people that only use 5%. There's some people out there that just go to work, come back home, and don't do an absolute thing which is using 0% of your capabilities in reality. I'm talking about the passions you have, the creativity you have inside of you. Everyone is creative. Everyone has a passion. But the point is, are you going to look for it? That's the people that I really feel sad for. That's going to be a, a video for... That's another... You know what? I'm going to make the next video about that. Finding your creativity and stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah, so stop holding yourself back. All you creative people out there, everything you got to do, just try to push it. Of course, you're not going to make it to 100%. That's fucking crazy. Like 100%? That's fuck. I don't even know who I can say is 100%. Maybe the lead singer of The Cure or something, because that guy makes music all the fucking time. And he's been, to me, he's consistent, but not even he's 100%. But I want to be at least one day at 70% push, at least at 70% doing all the capabilities that I can, making as many videos that I can, ideas. I hate sitting around and doing nothing and feeling like crap. That's what holds me back. Just these, uh, it's just everyone has insecurities and everyone has these things that hold you back. And I hope that this video helps you out. Go do what the hell you think you could do. At least push it to 50% of what you can do. I'm going to try to do that myself. Um... Uh, and I'm going to try to get, just do more things that involve being, things that are scary to do. Supposedly scary, because fear is, it's a, fear is not even a thing. Fear is just a, it's fake. Okay. It's fake. Now, if you have fear of kissing me right now on stream, it's because you're afraid of how, how much you'll fall in love, probably. That's probably the only reason why you're like, if I kiss this guy, I know not only am I going to go from straight to bisexual, but also, if I kiss this guy, I'm going to fall in love with him. I just kissed you. You already fell in love with me. Sorry. Anyways, so now that you're in love with me, can you subscribe to my channel? Thank you. Join my Twitter. All the stuff that I have is down in the description, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But stop holding yourself back. I hate it. I wanted to share that with you. It's a very important thing. It's a very important thing that holds me back, and I need to stop it. It's disgusting. Also, make sure you think to yourself. All the things that bother you about yourself that you do, think about it and fix it. If you don't think about it, well, I don't know if you're being honest with yourself because you're the only enemy. You are the enemy. Remember that. All right. I'm not not my enemy, asshole, to yourself. You're the biggest enemy to yourself. Okay. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.